the last few months kind of been like for you? I imagine it's kind of been a whirlwind. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I keep like reflecting on it, and if you know, you would have told me that my first year of college would have turned out this way, I would have told you you're crazy. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been quite a whirlwind, but um, I'm thankful for where I'm at right now. How hard was it to leave USC? It was really hard. Um, you know, just like the bonds, the connections that I made there. Um, you know, my teammates, my friends. Uh, leaving those guys was hard, um, but you know, it was. It was what was best for me and, and for me to, you know, achieve my goals um, for the future. So um, I kind of like to have it with that kind of mindset. But, you know, it, honestly, it, it was hard. What was it about Ole Miss that made you ultimately decide to come here? Yeah, I mean, ultimately just seeing, you know, the, the production that they had last year. Um, you know, hearing about it on the news when, when I was playing at SC and then watching highlights when I was in the portal and the meeting with the coaches, I, I loved how electric the offense is. Um, you know, it's super quarterback friendly, and I love the, you know, just the excitement and everything that carries around with it. Um, I loved how, you know, Coach Kiffin has, has really turned some things around here and have brought it, brought it back to what it used to be. And, uh, you know, so that, that was something that really excited me. What's the relationship obviously is close with, with you and Trey, but both young come and obviously wherever y'all might have gone, we're going to go together. Just what's that bond like between y'all? Man, that's, that's my brother. Um, you know, he came into SC. Uh, he, was, he wasn't he was an early enrollee, um, so he came a little bit later than me. But, you know, it was like right off the bat when we got to meet each other, um, we just became super close. And, uh, you know, when all the discussion was going down um, with me getting in the portal, he was – he texted me right away, and he's like, hey, bro, I'm going where you're going. Um, and, yeah, so I just think that, you know, our friendship's just really close, and we, we have that brotherhood. How's your relationship with Luke Baltimore? Yeah, Luke's a great kid. Um, I remember, like, one of my first days coming in here, uh, we threw in the indoor facility with some of the receivers, and he was the first kid to come shake my hand. Um, so he's, he's a great kid, and I can tell that, you know, he's, he's raised really well. Um, and, yeah, we're, we're, we're good friends. Yeah, I mean, for me, um, I came into SC in this similar position. Uh, I committed with the, another kid uh, who was in my class. So for me, it's kind of similar. It's like I haven't really – I'm in the same position as I was when I first came – when I first went to SC. Um, you know, we obviously have the same goals in mind. And, uh, you know, I think it's just – you know, it's competition. It breeds the best out of both of us. It's going to push us and uh, help us become better players ultimately. Yeah, obviously it's new stuff for me. Um, I mean, it was last week we'd come into, you know, the first three days and there were new things that I haven't ran before. So just getting those reps um, really helps. But if I compare myself to where I was last spring to this spring, I feel like I'm a lot farther ahead. Um, but just like my knowledge of the game, and I think Coach Weiss um, has done a great job with that with, you know, um, helping the quarterbacks understand defenses more and really meeting with us um, beforehand to get us ready before spring ball even started. I felt like we had almost, you know, at least 75% of the whole install in before spring ball had even started. So just meeting with him has been an easy transition for me, um, you know, getting to know the offense. And from here on out, I think it's mostly just reps and understanding how guys play and their speeds and, and, and all that stuff. Yeah, um, you know, I'm super excited about it. Uh, I felt like last year I really got to have half of a quarter where I was actually really healthy and got to show what I was, what I'm capable of. Um, you know, I hurt my knee against Washington State, and I was out for a few weeks. And even when I came back, I wasn't 100%. Um, so you know, there's some things with my legs that I wasn't able to really showcase. Um, but I would just say, you know, you can't really be complacent on anything. You got to work at everything. Um, I'd say a big thing for me is probably just uh, my footwork and my timing to the different concepts that we have and, uh, you know, get, get in a good rhythm with that because I feel like if my feet are right, then, you know, everything will play out good. Okay, what have you seen so far? Who's kind of stood out the most on, on the offensive side of the ball? Mm, there's been a lot of guys. Um, we have a lot of really, really good players. Um, I, Mingo, Mingo's been a, a big one to me. He's just like a leader. And, you know, he's, he's a great athlete. I think he's going to be a guy coming into this next draft class that's kind of flying under the radar, and he's going to make a big name for himself. 
Um, I feel like the offensive line group as a whole, they're really close and they communicate really well with one another, and they're all really, really solid players. Um, you know, all of our running backs, Zach, Dew, Contrell, um, those guys are really good players and they're really explosive. They got great speed, um, and I think that they're going to do a great job for us. Um, I think that we're going to have one of the most talented offenses in the SEC, and uh, I know I'm, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Uh, when I was being recruited out of high school, my recruitment came really late, so there's only a select few of schools that I was in contact with. And it was like literally the second I got the email that I was going into the portal, um, I felt like I couldn't even like look at my phone. Like I just needed like space. Um, so it was it was crazy because you kind of feel like you you have a you have an idea that you're going into the portal before you you do obviously. Um, so you kind of have schools that you're interested in before being in contact with them. Um, you know, so you try to be respectful to, to all the coaches, but you kind of have like the select few that you're, you're really looking at. Um, but yeah, like right when I got in, like that was something that, you know, I wouldn't have never thought would have happened. I know a lot of portal guys though, it's just like a one year decision. For right. You, it was more than that. I mean, you know, right. Had, did that change kind of the, the way you approached it in terms of maybe wanting to take your time? Or think about it because it wasn't just having to go someplace for one season play. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, I thought going to SC, I thought it was going to be a little bit more stable with the coaching staff. Um, and like you said, I don't, I don't have just one year. So I got to make it, you know, I had to make a decision based on, you know, what was best for me for, you know, possibly the next three years, right? So I was trying to find a stable, stable place and I would be able to surround myself with people who would help me grow and develop as a player and as a person. Um, so I think that because of that, it took a little bit more time just because I had to dive into deeper into deeper things and uh, try to get as much information as I can. I mean, you probably don't want to get into specifics, but how much of a cloud was NIL over that whole thing? Were people throwing money amounts at you during the recruiting, or was that kind of never discussed? I mean, I'm not a kid who looks for stuff like that. You know, I'm. I'm a football player. I want to play football, and, and you know I feel like if I can play good on the field, that stuff will come, and uh, that's that's my whole purpose. I committed to a school to play football, and that's that's my whole focus. Did you keep up with SEC much when you were growing up in Utah? I really didn't. It was mostly all just Pac-12, um, but I knew that when I was going into the portal, I wanted to go to the SEC. Um, so those were like, you know, some of the main school. Because it gets you to develop for the NFL. I feel like if you can be successful in playing the, in the SEC, then it's an easier transition to the NFL. You play in, you know, a lot better competition uh, week in and week out. Um, you're playing in really cool environments. And, you know, you got to make a lot of adjustments. You can't just, you know, you can't. And there's some, there's some games and some conferences where you can just have better athletes than another team. And you can just outplay them just because you have better athletes. In this, it's more about scheme, and you have to schematically beat them. And you have to be smarter than them because they have just as good as players as you do. Um, so that was that was a big reason why I chose to come to SEC. Are, are you getting acclimated to living in Mississippi <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's uh, complete polar opposites than LA. Um, I would say it's, it's more similar to Utah and more just like how like controlled the environments are and how like just kind of more low key it is. Um, so when I compare it to Utah, there's not like a whole big, like there's not a huge difference. Um, but comparing it to LA and the things that I'm used to, it's kind of polar opposites. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting transitioned well into it for sure. And I love, I love the aspect that um, you, can, you can come to work every day and you can focus on football. There's not as many distractions around you and there's really good people around you who help push you to, to your goals. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, I, I I still remember when me and Trey came on our visit, and we walked into you know just like a little restaurant with with our families, and the amount of people who came up to us and knew who we were, and we were just on our visit, and uh, you know students weren't even at school at the time, and um, I thought that that was really cool, and I, I just love the support and how involved um, people are here. It's it's really cool. 
All right. Yeah, so me and Matt were in, in contact a lot when um, when I was trying to decide between schools because obviously he was coached by Coach Lebby and he's also, you know, he was here. So, you know, me and Matt had a lot of conversations and, you know, I think that I can, I can, I can say with confidence that he likes the South more than he likes the West Coast. Um, and he had nothing but really good things to say about, about, about Mississippi. I'm sure you've been asked a hundred times, what's the story on the Lucas? Jeez. Uh, there's not really anything crazy. Um, I went to Hawaii my freshman year in high school um, and had a few, I got a puka shell there. It kind of broke when I was in high school. And then I went back after, I guess it was this time last year, went back to Hawaii and saw some puka shells that I liked and decided to start wearing it. And then I liked it and I kind of just stuck with it. And uh, you know, they've been, they've been really good for me. But just, uh, you know, they stay on during games and I can wear them wherever I go. And uh, I kind of feel like that's kind of like my thing now. So I have to, I have to rock with it. Yeah, uh, he, you know, like you said, that's, he coached at SC for a while. Um, he has this family who lives in California. So, you know, when I was in California with my family, he came out and we had a, you know, a home visit in California when I was there just training. And, uh, you know, he's helped a lot with my transition, um, you know, because he's had to transition from place to place. And uh, he's been, you know, a huge advocate.